Dude, there are so many Goliaths. I know. No, 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 no. treasure hunting time. We got Dave Slays over there. Here's a quick look at the gear. We're hurrying up because we're racing a tide right now. Gonna slap on the dive gear, go hop in the water. We'll kept, catch up with you at the beach. It looks gorgeous out here. The water does look pretty milky, but maybe it'll clear up towards the tip. But we're gonna go treasure hunting. All right, we are suited up. Dave's getting started. I'm gonna grab my fins, walk out there, put them on, and hopefully we find some stuff.
Can you see him from up there? Look at all that junk. That's just one snag from between two pilings. How many snook have you lost on that snag, Dave? Tons, tons, tons. That's just some stuff I picked off it. If I had a bag with me, I could have got a lot more. Got the rod and reel, a salt rod, seven foot. If this is yours, come see Dave, he has it. He'll give it back to you. And then the cool part, 
the really cool part was the plug. It was stuck like right in a Goliath's forehead. And as I went down to grab it, I thought there was no way I was gonna get anywhere near it, but his eye was all foggy. One of the hooks was right next to his eye or right in his eye, I don't remember really. But his eye was all foggy, so I figured the thing was blind and he didn't even move. I grabbed the plug, got a really good grip on it, yanked it out. The hook was like buried right above my finger, so I got really lucky there. Didn't really think that one through. But it worked out. But there was fish. Dave, we got a fish. They were there, they were, they're ready to chew. There was snook, there was cuberas. Tons of sheep's head. I might have to start sheep's head fishing soon. But yeah, we're gonna go fish, right Dave? Yep. What do we got for bait? Maharas. Maharas. The snook are gonna chew. Let's go head out there. Stop. It's a little snook. Yeah. Looks like you got enough rope to get down there. Thank you. Little 26 incher. Twenty-seven inch snow. Twenty-seven and a half. Not quite a keeper, but nice little snow. We hooked one. Yeah, of course it's a good one. I told you. Oh, come on. We hooked a fish on the little rod. Maybe we'll get rewarded for our dive today. We dove, checked him out. Keep going this way, buddy. Come on. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Good fish. Going down the pilings, now he's coming into the pilings, danger zone. Turn back out, turn back out. There we go, there we go, go out, go out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, he's still on it, he's still on it. It's a nice snook, nice keeper. It's not over yet though. Bad, bad, bad area. Welcome back. There we go. Oh man, he's diving around all those rocks. Look at that. No, 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 no. Goliath almost got him. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. Goliath almost got him. All right, Ray. He's in there. Thank you. Oh, we pulled him right away from the Goliath's mouth. The other one just came out right there. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is 32 inches right there, so he's about 33 and a half. That thing. <laughs> yeah. That is it for this video. I gotta say thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you like the video. Hope you enjoy the channel. If you do, subscribe. I feel bad about that one Goliath. I couldn't do anything to help it out. It had that ring around its head. Hopefully someone catches that one. They are they're able to cut that off it. Uh, but you can see there's so many Goliaths down there. Uh, and then I almost even lost my snook to a Goliath, which does happen uh, from time to time, definitely with big snook and redfish. I mean, that snook was about 33 inches, I think it was, and 
the Goliath was ready to munch him. We barely got lucky and pulled away from the Goliath. So thanks a lot for watching and we will see you guys in the next video later.